Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your general intuitive messages. I hope y'all are doing well out there and I hope that this reading finds you safe. So let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, the eighth sign of the zodiac, the second water sign. Signifies resourcefulness, powerful, determined, brave, passionate, stubborn, and also high endurance. They also offer true friendships. Um, Scorpio can also be oversensitive, secretive, obsessive, and prone to anger and jealousy. Uh, Scorpio reminds me of Pluto energy, y'all, and this also reminds me of like death and rebirth. So maybe somebody is going through some changes. Definitely check if you got Scorpio in your chart and see where it's at. Venus, the goddess of love, lust, beauty, desire, charm, seduction, fertility, prosperity, enticement, and also the female wow. So um, there's got something to do with this um, maybe somebody is coming into their own energy seeing who they are maybe they're transforming their looks maybe somebody's going through some type of procedure or doing some type of like a cosmetic change it could be naturally like working out or somebody could begin some type of surgery but let's keep going <music> The sixth house, house of health and also services. So this includes your daily routine, your tasks, your job duties, skills, and your training. And again, when it talks about health, like I told you guys, somebody is tra transforming themselves for a healthy reason, I feel. So it it don't matter what how they're doing it, but whoever this is, their whole goal is they want to do some type of transform transformation physically and then I feel mentally too okay this also um the sixth house also has something to do with types of mentors bosses and co-workers that you attract so definitely keep that in mind what's the news We got the moon card and eight of cups so I feel like you might be you know making this change and then deciding that it's time for you to move forward maybe you're deciding to go on a you know start to branch off and be your own boss the emperor maybe you feel like this is necessary to keep uh kind of like keep your status i don't know why i'm feeling feeling that energy yeah okay yeah so it's something about moving because i just seen the six of, see the six of swords so somebody's thoughts and ambitions they want to take care of themselves maybe you feel like it's time for you to go on a hi hiatus and like really get in tune with yourself that might include leaving uh organization and then kind of just going towards what you want to do for this yeah i feel like you're kind of just holding on to your energies you're not really too much interested in giving them out to outside resources you, you know i feel like you still get to your family and the people that you care about but anyone outside of you feeling like you're giving love to yourself is not important right now yeah this king of wands you might have leo sagittarius aries in your chart but you really are confident in this decision i feel if you haven't executed it you really are thinking about it heavily yeah king of cups i might be i, I know i'm talking to an emperor energy because these kings keep coming out king of cups you want to be able to really be able to offer true love true emotion so i feel like maybe whatever situation you're in caused you to feel drained so it was time for you to go into that 
yeah, because you want to start a family, the ten of this. If you don't have a, a, a haven't already, you want to build on your family or you want to build on your legacy if you already have a family. Eight of Wands. Somebody's doing something quickly, getting the job done, you're filling out the papers, getting the communications out there, connections, things of that matter. Yeah, there's going to be some victory, though. The Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to get this recognition that you're looking for. If you want to promote yourself in your business, it's going to be a good time. It's coming up, okay? Or you could be in this energy right now. The Princess of Cups. Hmm. I don't know. if I feel like this person was at once connected to you, but I feel like you guys were not on the same level. Might be talking to a male and this female was not on your level emotionally. Okay, because maybe this person was kind of like immature and they spoke a lot of things in haste and stuff like that. This Princess of Cup energy. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This person caused you to feel kind of stressed out and burdened and worried all the time. Maybe this person was giving you like you were getting projected on or um, you were feeling their energy. And if you're an empath then you were starting to you know, catch on to their waves. This person probably has some mental issues and they kind of like want to tag along with you or they want to stay connected to you. They don't want to let go of the connection, but I feel like you want success. That's why this is what's in between you two. Yeah, this person want to hold on. That's why the four discs is here too. Not only are you trying to hold on to your energy, this person will hold on to you. What's the veil of the set? Hmm. High Priestess and the Queen of Scepter showing up here. So, that's funny. Uh, uh, Some about your intuition, okay? Your intuition is letting you know that you have your counterpart out here because the Queen of Scepters is connected to the King of Wands. But I feel like there's somebody that's trying to hold you back from going towards that success to get this Ten of Discs. Yeah, somebody that's still kind of very childish. This person gave you a lot of excitement, though, I feel, in the past. But I feel like you're ready to in a way mature because the king of wands is more mature than the scribe of scepters yeah behind the scenes is how you were feeling man the eight of swords kept us to yourself that's what i'm feeling yeah it was burdening though very heavy okay We got best the guardian so i feel like as long as you stay in this energy of trying to preserve your because the four of this is like you know just not feeling the need to give some people say stingy but if it's in a higher vibration it's for necessity for your maybe you're trying to survive maybe you don't have much right now or you're trying to put things in it to like you know, be careful about your investments because you're trying to make that four turn into a ten. Yeah, see, Haru, the truth. Yep, it's about some type of inheritance. Definitely. I feel like you're putting in the work. There's somebody else that wants to work with you, I feel. What's this King of Wands, though? Ten of Scepters, yeah. You need this help because you're burdened right now. Yeah, it's almost like you don't see that there's some type of commitment or um, contract that's about to come in for you. And this contract and this commitment is going to like release you from feeling kind of stuck in this. Yeah, illusions, man, somebody had somebody in a whole bunch of mess. Look at that. The moon card, the hangman. It must have been it could have been a water sign this because I feel like this is coming from this princess of cups, this energy. Uh, could have been a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but whoever this would have somebody in some emotional, mental entrapment. I don't know if they they were married to this person too, because it could have been a Taurus as well. 
what's this king of cups why does this water keep coming out here yeah it's about money though bro yeah look at this king of swords this emperor i feel like if you're the emperor this king of cups king of wands energy you're trying to protect what you feel is um going to be inheritance for your children because the ten of scarabs is the same and it's equivalent to ten of this this also indicates a lawyer yeah you might be getting a lawyer or a judge because this water sign i don't know who this is because i'm feeling like this princess of cups is coming out in this queen of cups energy they you know pretend like they're loving but there's some balance that you need you don't feel like this person is you know on your level you're trying to build your empire all these kings keep coming out you're trying to build your finance your financial abundance stability what's this tentative Yeah, you're tired of juggling. You want to put this, you want this to die. You want the situation to end. You're tired of having to go back and forth or you're tired of having to struggle, okay? You're ready for abundance. Like I keep saying, yeah, you don't feel like this is your wish fulfillment and you also don't feel like this is just. Uh, maybe you're receiving some type of karma, like you had some karmic debt that you had to pay. And that's in this form of having to go through this transformation, Scorpio energy. Like I said, this person might be a water sign. They might be be the one to like kind of assist you in this karmic payment because I feel like you're paying the karmic debt. See? Yeah. 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 Nine of scepters, seven of uh, scarabs. Feeling so, it, it feels difficult for you sometimes to even show love to yourself. That's why I feel like you wanted to walk away from something. In the beginning, when I was um, talking about the dice, it felt this energy of like somebody wants to change something about their physical self so that they can build on, you know. And, and then maybe you went through so much to the point where maybe you gained a lot of weight dealing with this person or you felt unattractive because, you know, they're emotional energy was like weighing down on you what's this eight of wands queen of scepter she's showing up yeah you're done you don't want to argue back and forth maybe this person they use their looks okay they feel like if they use their looks they can get away with a lot of different things and this person probably has other people like trying to make you feel bad maybe this person tries to put others in your face like you know to try to prove something but it's not doing nothing but just showing their insecurities the warrior swords reverse this person always tries to gaslight you like they'll you'll tell them they did they did something you know and they know they did it but they'll deny it that's that type of person or try to get other people to lie for them stuff of that nature you you can't believe the people that they're around because they're not trustworthy either okay what's the six of wands yeah the will what's under here five of swords and the tower. Mm, mm, mm. So I feel like once you step into this energy of, you know, moving forward, pushing forward and getting yourself in a better shape, I'm just seeing like somebody really working on their body. Okay. The wheel is going to start to turn and there's going to be some changes that's going to happen very quickly okay the six of wands you're going to start to see a lot of winds coming in these people yeah yeah it's it, it, it pretty much it's gonna end because what i'm feeling is that with this five of swords energy all this conflict lies um gaslighting gang stalking against you trying to get you you know some energy of heartbreak is about to be transmuted the sorcerers yeah because see you're the gift you know that you know that you're a giving person you gave and now it's time for you to receive the six of scarabs see happiness a happy life 
okay so that's coming for you what's this princess of cups though because i feel like she connected to this five of swords five of wands energy King of Wands, yeah. This this was somebody that you were passionate about. If I'm not talking to a fire sign, it was just somebody that, you know, maybe they made you feel good to help them at one point or something. It made you feel like, a, if you're a man, it made you feel like a man. The two of uh, scepters energy. So now somebody's really looking at the choices in the past. Somebody's actually seeing that there is a whole world out there. <laughs> Yep. Fire again, Leo, and then the hangman. Second met with the strength card. It's almost like you got to use your willpower. You got to figure out the what riddles of life. And that's what this lesson was all about so that you can move on, move forward. Because somebody is a freaking emperor. So even if you don't got what emperors have... Your soul is an emperor energy. These kings keep coming out, y'all. Every king that showed up. And the emperor himself showed up earlier. Yeah, see, look. What I just say? King of Wands, King of Scepters, King of Cups, and then the King of Scarabs. What's this Nine of Swords? Mm -mm, that's too many. I'm not taking all these. I feel like they try to come out, though. Okay, let's do that again. Let's see what it comes out. King of Scarabs. <sighs> That's frustrating. Because I feel like there is like this, you wish that you could have did something over again, energy, or you wish that Maybe you would have took your time with things because maybe you splurge a lot of money on things that just were lustful or um, gave you a lot of excitement when it came to your passions, adrenaline and stuff like that. But now it's like it's a time for you to really just step into this energy of your higher self, okay, higher knowing, eight of scepters. Yeah, the comforter right here as well. And step out of this energy of the Nine of Swords because the Nine of Swords just keep you entrapped. And if you're trying to manifest something and you need to get away from this energy, once that happens, you'll be able to have a more clear mind. Because somebody trying to hold on to you, they might be sending like energy attachments. So you guys might need to do like a spiritual rituals. I would ask, I would say do spiritual baths as well. Okay, don't matter if you're a male or a female, but that's what I got for y'all. I hope that this helps someone. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so that messages can go ahead and float and percolate out there. But until next time, talk to you later. Deuces.